Hi everyone, I'm Esteban Morales. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use a set of tools that I've been developing to do live looping in Reaper. So, stay with me. Once you have downloaded the file, we'll extract the content, open the folder, and leave it in this place for now. Open Reaper, go ahead to the Options menu, and click Show Reaper Resource Path. First, we'll select Nabla Script, then right click, copy, go to Reaper's Path, open the Scripts folder, right click, and Paste it here. Go to the Previous tab. Now select Menu Sets. Right click. Copy. If you are in a fresh installation of Reaper, you'll notice that there's not Menu Sets folder here. So I press Ctrl V to paste it. And there is. Finally, open User Plugins. If you don't know which is the architecture of your system, select all files, Ctrl C to copy, go to user plugins on Reaper's path and paste them here. That's all. Now we can close these windows. And restart Reaper. Go over here and click Actions menu, select Show Action List, click on Load, open Nabla Script, Nabla Looper, then select all files in this folder, all Lua files, click Open and close this window. Now we're gonna load the toolbars, click Options menu, Customize menus, click on this drop menu. Now we're gonna select one free floating toolbar. It could be from 1 to 16. I'll select toolbar 1, then click Import and select Nabla Looper Arranged Mode. Open. Now retitle. I'll name this Arranged Mode. Click again on the drop menu. Now select Floating Toolbar 2. Click Import button. Select Nabla Looper Manual Mode. Open, retitle, manual mode, ok, close, go over here, right click, open toolbar and select arranged mode, right click, position toolbar, at top of main window. Now we have fixed our toolbars on this area. That's all about installation. Now we can go to review the looping modes. First, head over to settings tool. We don't have to change anything for now, so go ahead and click OK. Now come over here and click once on arrange mode. Then click again, check remember my answer for this script, and we'll click terminate instances. We only have to do the steps the first time that we're gonna use the arranged mode. Now let's create a new track, double click over here, and I'll name it guitar1. 
I'm gonna create a new item. Let's do that holding Command key on Mac, Control on Windows, and draw an item. Click on Rename Items, and I'll rename it to Loop One. Okay. Now toggle to Record Clip, select it, press Command D on Mac, Control D on Windows for duplicate, then toggle to Normal Item. I can adjust the length of this clip. Now, everything that I've recorded on this item, name it loop1. There will be propagate to all items, name it loop1, anywhere in the project, even on another tracks. I'll adjust the length of this. Click on an empty space for unselect all items. Now, I'll draw a new one. Select it, click Rename Items, I'll name it Loop2, toggle to Record Item, duplicate it, toggle back to Normal Item, adjust the length, and that's all. Now we're ready to do Freehand's Live Looping on Reaper. Go ahead and turn on Metronome, and let's start looping pressing this button. And that's it. This is the very very basic use. You can also do it with MIDI tracks. I think with this you can start testing. And I'll be uploading more videos explaining this mode in depth. So let's forward with manual mode. First, we need to switch the toolbar to the manual mode. Right click, switch toolbar, and select manual mode. Click on settings, don't change anything. Click OK. Click once on manual mode, click again, remember my answer for this script, then terminate instances, now click on activate triggers, remember my answer, and terminate. Now in this mode we need to set some external input for control it. This could be MIDI messages or keyboard shortcuts. Right click over here, customize toolbar, select manual mode, right click and change action. Now in the action list, it will be highlighted the action that is linked to the manual mode button. I'll click on add and press a key for set my shortcut. This action is only for start the manual mode system. The next configuration is very important because with this button we'll control the start, stop and remove recording. To make this possible I developed a special shortcut system, therefore also have a special configuration. If we want to control it with a MIDI message, then simply right click, change action, this is the action related to the button, select it, click on add, then I press my MIDI control, and remember in this action we only can assign MIDI messages, not keyboard shortcuts. For do that we need to close these windows, Click on set shortcut, it will open this window. Now I'll assign my new shortcut, press a key. Make sure this shortcut is not currently taken in the action list. So we're gonna check that. Click OK. Click on actions menu, show action list. Find shortcut, then press the key you just assigned. 
I'll notice that this key is already taken by another action. Now I want to delete and I'll assign a new shortcut for this action. Now I filter for Nabla Looper. Select Nabla Looper Manual Shortcut. Click on Add. And set the key that we have already assigned in the Set Shortcut button. Close this window. And that's all about configuration. Now we're gonna create some tracks. Double click here. I set guitar one. And MIDI. I'll set MIDI input for my MIDI keyboard. I'll load a VST instrument. I'll assign my audio input. And that's all. Let's go to looping. Select the track that I want to use and press my shortcut to start recording. Press again for stop. I'll add a new loop in this track. Press for start. Press again for stop. Now select my MIDI track and start a loop. Stop. Cool. Now I want to add a new loop. So start. Oh, I don't like this take. So I'll make a long press of my shortcut for discard this take. Yay, it's on. Start again. Stop. We can also delete any recorded item. Just select it or select them and hold down the shortcut. We can also alternate recording between tracks. So I select one track, start, select other track and press my shortcut and there is it, we start looping in the other track. That's all for now friends, watch my other videos to give you an idea of how you can use these tools. If you have any question, please leave it in the comments. See you next time.